Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to talk about the battle against Aptasia and the future of the frag tank. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Teats. So my display tank looks amazing, everything's happy, frag tank not so much. So earlier this spring I basically had the Aptasia, I'm going to say 95% gone. Uh, life got crazy, you know, all pandemic, everything else. This tank was fairly neglected the last little while. And my main tank still got lots of love and attention. This one I fed it, didn't do much else. But you can see my lovely Aptasia farm. So much of it, it is shameful, but it is what it is. So here is one aspect of it. You can see just how nasty it is. All these lovely Aptasias. Now, copper band underneath. Um, there was a bunch of Aptasia kind of on the bottom and most of those are gone now. So he's been doing it. He doesn't seem to go on top for whatever reason. I don't know if he's a little more timid. And we also have the file fish. And this guy, I haven't seen him eat it, but I've seen some disappear. So I think he's actually doing a fantastic job. Um, I picked this guy up, used off another hobbyist who said he cleaned up all the Aptasia in his tank. So he's kind of like a known good guy. So hopefully that works. Now again, there is a risk that they could potentially munch on coral, but he has to get through the Aptasia to find the coral. Now, a while ago, I did add a bunch of nudies. Now, the nudies are possibly getting eaten by the fish, which is a bit of a risk. And I did put about half of them into the sump, just for kind of good measure. Now, the other thing I've been doing is moving zoas down to the sump. So if we take a look here, here's a bunch I moved down the other day, just to kind of help them get cleaned up. Now, some of them are definitely full of Aptasia, so I'm hoping the nudies will clean these up. I have spotted a bunch of egg spirals. So you can see all the spirals in the back there. And those are all nudie eggs. So they're definitely in here and they are breeding. Um, so that means they are eating it. Now I know this rock flower basket previously was full of Aptasia and it's also cleaned out. Basically all cleaned up. So they are definitely doing their job. So two things I've been doing. One is rotating zoas down there to get them cleaned up, which has been working. And the second thing is adding the file fish and the copper band to the tank. I did also just order like four bottles of Aptasia. I'm gonna use that to kind of take out the big ones. As for the acros, this is how bad it was getting. Um, a lot of the acros were getting stung at the bases and starting to die off at the bottom. So I've started to frag off stuff and put on new plugs, Aptasia free and moving it to the frag racks as I go. Now the whole bore on Aptasia is all part of the master plan is because I want to turn this into a display tank. I think it's gonna be a really cool shallow reef display, but no one wants a shallow reef tank full of Aptasia. So my first goal is to take out all of the Aptasia. Um, now my other thought is I could once I'll let the fish do the thing for a week or two and I may just pick up like a shallow just like a little temporary tank and move the nudies and all the Aptasia just in their tank by themselves and let them have at it for a month or so and then once all the frags are clean then I can move them back into the display tank. So that's one thought that I might do is to set up a little temporary tank for that. Um, my other thought is to do a similar thing with the fish and potentially just completely sterilize the tank with something like citric acid, then refill it fresh water, everything, make sure all the Aptasia inside, everything's killed off, and then only move clean stuff back in. So that's one potential plan. Um, now you guys also may notice the dual light bars here. Uh, if you've seen some of my Instagram posts recently, I picked up some XR30s and I actually had intentions of putting them on this tank. Now this tank is much wider than my other tank, so I wanted the extra spread. Uh, but then I started thinking to myself, why would I not put the best lights on my best tank? So I ended up putting them on the water box and I took the XR 15s G5s off the water box and moved them to this tank. So it was a bit of a switcheroo. Now I've also been curious about reef brace and they're on sale at BRS for Black Friday. So I may have splurged on some of the six foot or the 60 inches XHO. So I'm gonna try the extra 15s with some reef rights and see how that goes. Down below, I am currently using a calcium reactor and calcwasser. I'm doing the exact same thing on both tanks. Now, I am a huge fan of calcium reactors. I absolutely love them. However, I am debating going to dosing for a little while on this tank. Now, part of it um, is because I kinda wanna do something different with each tank. Um, it's kind of better for just test doing different experiments, different tests and different things on YouTube. So what I'm actually thinking about doing is I have the Dostronic from my old Lagoon tank and I'm thinking I'm actually going to put that in this dose. Now the one thing with dosing is it's always a pain to change and refill your containers. So uh, with the Black Friday sales, I ordered four five gallon ATO containers 
and they're not going to fit this way, but they will fit this way. So I'm going to put four of them, sorry. Um, so calcium elk mag and alcatonic reagent. So I'm going to put them this way. So I'm going to have ridiculous amounts of dosing and those babies should last like months and months and months. So if I do that, I think if I can mount the alcatronic and the dosetronic on the back wall and try the full thing running off that. So I have the mastertronic, I've got the alcatronic, I have the dosetronic, and I'll be able to fully automate my dosing. So I'm super curious to kind of try it at that kind of level. Now, if you guys saw last week's video of the solartronic, now part of this is I want to test out the complete system. Um, now down here is where I'm going to put the solartronic. So I still have to get some eyelets, I'm going to hang it. And then this could be either frags or turn for a display, but there's roughly a two foot by two foot down there. So it's almost like it's own little shallow tank. So that might be a whole new little display in itself. So there's definitely going to be a lot of like switcheroo changes on here. And really, I just want this to turn into like a really pretty display. So it is definitely going to be some work to get to this point, but I'm going to be much happier as a display than a frag tank because I don't really sell frags anyways. Now, there is definitely lots of work to do, especially with dealing with the Aptasia first. Um, but once it's done, I think it's going to be worth it. So definitely a lot of stuff in the pipe. And if you guys have any other ideas on what to do with it, let me know. I'm still debating if I do sand or no sand. Um, I will likely will do sand just because personally I like that look better. I kind of want to do a, like a really cool kind of shallow lagoony style tank, but we'll see what comes of it. But for now, we're on Aptasia. So let this be a lesson to you guys. Don't ignore the Aptasia. It is no joke and it is a pain to deal with when it gets to that plague proportions. So thankfully, the nudie ranks are breeding. It appears that the Aptasian filefish is doing its job so far, which is awesome. Hopefully it doesn't munch corals, but at least they're hiding under Aptasia, so they got a bit of a buffer there. Um, same with the copper band. That guy is definitely plunking away at stuff, just not nearly as quick as I would like. But it's nice to know that it's, we got a team effort against this battle, and we will get through it. So yeah, definitely don't let Aptasias get out of control. Um, I did order four bottles of F Aptasias, Will, and I'm going to use that for all the big ones. So if you see the other one in your tank, Get ahead of it before it gets you. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and a bit of an update on my kind of master game plan for the frag tank and kind of its future and as I adapt it to a shallow reef display. So if you guys enjoyed this, as always, hit the thumbs up button for new. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you on the next update.